Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to draw a yin yang icon in my flat design style in Adobe Illustrator. If it's your first time on my channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then you've come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit that bell notification so you don't miss an upload. Now let's dive into this quick tutorial. Let's start by creating a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixels. For the outline of this illustration, we will select a black stroke with a 15 points thickness and don't forget to round off your caps and the corners. Now let's begin by selecting the ellipse tool and click on the canvas to create a 600 by 600 pixel circle. Make sure you hold down shift on your keyboard while you do that. We will then center it to the artboard using the alignment bar at the top. Once that's done, let's create another circle this time at 300 by 300 pixels. Now, by selecting both circles, let's align them to the middle left by using the alignment bar at the top. Make sure you have the align by selection selected. Illustrator should do this automatically. Now let's group the two circles by doing Command or Control G on your keyboard and align them to the center of the canvas. Once that's done, we can ungroup them. Next, we will copy over a second small circle to the right side of the big circle. We will then create two smaller circles within those small circles. I'll then select all and rotate the full illustration 90 degrees. Now that we have that, I'll be doing a copy and paste in place of the original big circle and then lock it down. Let's also lock down the two smallest circles. The reason why we lock these down is so that they don't get selected by mistake while doing the next step. Now let's select all and bring up the shape builder tool, which is shift M on your keyboard. With this tool, I will combine these shapes to create our yin yang icon. Now, if we pull these shapes apart, you can see that the original circle was never affected. The reason why we didn't want to affect that circle is because it will be our main outline. Now we can finally unlock all of our elements. To better organize the image, let's name the current layer Outline, and then create another layer below it and name it Color. I will then select all our shapes except for the main circle and drag the little blue square on the layer panel below down to the color layer. Now that we have that done, we can now remove the strokes and add fill to the shapes on the color layer only. As you will see, the outline of the yin yang won't be affected. Instead of giving it the typical black and white look, I'll select a light gray and a dark gray. As you can see, I am using my personal Dom Designs color palette, which is available on my Etsy store for less than a cup of coffee. Check out the link in my description below. Alright, now let's finish this illustration by adding some shadows and highlights. Let's unlock the outline layer and select our circle. I'll then go to the layer panel and option drag the blue square below to the color layer to duplicate the shape. Then I'll lock the outline layer once more. Now let's select the circle we copied on the color layer and invert the stroke to a black fill. We will want to create a shadow on the right side of the icon, so with option selected on my keyboard, I'll drag a copy of the black square towards the left. Then we can select the two circles and bring up the shape builder tool to delete the shapes on the left, leaving a moon-like shape on the right side of the icon. We can then bring down the opacity to create a shadow-like effect. Let's do the same for the inner circles at the top and at the bottom.
this is looking really nice. Now I'd like to end things off by adding a simple highlight on the left side of the icon. Let's unlock the outline layer once more and go to the object menu at the top and select Offset Path. Let's play with the units until we have an inner circle like this. We can then delete certain anchor points using the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow tool on the bar at the left. Once we have a stroke like this, we can then bring up the width tool. This tool allows us to click and drag on any part of the stroke to vary its weight. We can then turn the stroke into a shape by going to the object menu at the top and select Outline Stroke. Let's give this shape a white color to represent the highlight. Finally, I'll give the yin yang icon some action strokes going around it. Let's select the main outline and do an offset path. This time the circle should be bigger than the icon. We can then delete various anchor points to create individual pieces. Once we have three pieces, I will bring up the width tool to vary the strokes to give that moving effect. And there you have it. This is how to draw a yin yang icon in my flat design style within 8 minutes in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time. Cheers everyone.